Well, hello YouTube, this is The Badass Mojo, and if you haven't watched the E3, um, like, the live streams and stuff like that, well, I'm gonna be talking about the games that I did like, and I will definitely buy them and play them for the rest of the year. And yeah, so here's my top five list of the, uh, the games that I liked. So at number five, I have Resident Evil. Seven, Biohazard and I probably sound like a hypocrite right now because I made a rant video talking about how, how, how I did not like the uh, the horror uh, survival horror uh, theme but after playing uh, after playing the demo I'm gonna be honest with you guys it's it's pretty fun it's like I'll, I can't imagine how fun it would be like playing on the virtual reality glasses because it would be like Ten times as fun as what I had, um, like on the controller, because while I was playing it, I faced uh, the pretending guy zombie, and it terrified me like crazy. So yeah, it, it's fun, and I will probably buy it. Um, I had to uh, pick between this game and Sniper Elite Four. I did play all the uh, two Sniper Elite, Sniper Elite Two and Three, but since I watched the uh, the gameplay for Sniper Elite 4, it just looks like Sniper Elite 3, but with different levels. So, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not buying it. Anyway, uh, let's move on to number 4. So, at number 4, I have the new God of War game. So, to be honest, I have no clue what the title of the game is. I probably had to watch the video again uh, to see what the title was. Uh, it's the it's the new God of War coming out 2017 or 16. I don't know what the date is either. Uh, but in this God of War, you play as Kratos like always, and this time you have a son, and you're gonna teach your son how to become Kratos and be a badass like him, and learn how to kill monsters. But in the in, in the gameplay, your son is like um like all like nice and like not killing type of person you know like he's all like emotional sort of so i don't know how that's going to turn out to be i don't know if he's going to be ever like kratos because kratos does not give a single flying f about anything he kills like he literally will kill anything anywhere if it bothers him so i wonder if, if he's going to be turned into kratos or is he going to be like a separate character or if they're going to make another, like, God of War series with him being the main, um, hopefully they don't kill off Kratos, because Kratos is what God of War is known for, and, yeah, let's move on to number three. So at number three, I have the Ghost Recon Wildlands. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm the biggest fan of Just Cause series, right? I'm, like, huge, huge fan, but the new Just Cause Three, Just Cause 3 was disappointing. It had a like a huge map and the story mode was a little bit like it was too short because once I ran out of story mode I didn't have anything to do uh, because you know you can do a lot of stuff in Just Cause 3's map but I already done everything that I had to do in Just Cause 2 map so I, I couldn't experience something new. Um, so anyway, the, the Ghost Recon offers a lot of stuff like it, it offers a huge map like it's crazy big right? Just like Just Cause 3, it's like a huge, huge map. And you can play with four people. I wish they created a multiplayer for Just Cause 3, which would have made it so awesomer. Like, it would have made it better than it already is. Like, it already is a lot. Like, it's pretty fun. It's like dope. Like, it's like the best thing ever. If only they could add, like, like multiplayer to make the time, like, time spent in the game longer. Like, you could play the game longer. But not, like you, you don't, you can't do a lot of stuff by yourself. Like you, you listen, you can't play, you can't just play Grand Theft Auto Five by yourself and have it fun. Once you run out of story modes and once you've done all the activities, you you eventually are gonna get bored. Same thing with Just Cause. I got bored. So Ghost Recon is my next Just Cause till Just Cause Four comes out. Hopefully they do make a Just Cause Four and hopefully it has multiplayer. Anyway, let's move on to number two. So at number two, I have Battlefield 1. And to be honest with you guys, it was almost my number one. But that other game, which you're about to find out soon, just jumped out of nowhere and came in the front. 
Uh, so, Battlefield 1, I love Battlefield, and I've been playing Battlefield 4 for 1,800 hours. That shows that I like Battlefield a lot. So, yeah, I'm going to be playing Battlefield 1, and I'm going to be having a lot of fun pl flying those planes and dropping bombs and everything, just like I do in Battlefield 4. Uh, so, hopefully I get to play that soon. Um, anyway, let's move on to my favorite and number one game of the E3 2016, and that is... The Amazing Spider-Man 3 or the Spider-Man PS4 uh, because it's a PS4 exclusive and I'm playing on PS4. Anyway, if you don't know me, which you probably don't because you're just new to this channel, by the way, subscribe. Anyway, uh, I am a huge, huge, huge fan of Spider-Man. I'm like, Spider-Man is everything. No homo. Uh, of course, you gotta add no homo. Anyway, um, Spider-Man is like, like, I've been dreaming of becoming Spider-Man since, like, I I saw Spider-Man, like, the first time. And I've been, like, watching Spider-Man shows. I, I watched a new episode for the uh, uh, Spider-Man Sinister Six, uh, yes, well, two days ago, three days ago. And there's a new episode coming out next, like, next week, next Monday. I'm waiting on that one also because, um, yeah, there's, like, this huge plot twist going on. So, if you, if you watch that also, uh, you're... You're awesome, I guess. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to be playing Spider-Man, and it's like, it's better than Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2, because it's more open world, it's more detailed, and it's way better. It's like, it's like, be like it's better, be basically it, that's better. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe and share this uh, video, and let me know what is your favorite, or the game that you're waiting for in the comments below, and yeah. Peace.